Hi, let's take a look at the integration of the 360 WorkMix Creator VST3 plugin with new Windows 11. 360 WorkMix Creator enables musicians and creators to produce music in an immersive spherical sound field using the 360 Reality audio music format. 360 WorkMix Creator software plugin is available at 360RA.com and compatible with Mac and Windows computers. 360 WorkMix Creator software can integrate up to 128 audio sources. Now the 360 WorkMix Creator VST3 plugin is compatible with new Windows 11 and Cubase 11. It can be used with studio or live performances projects. 360 Work Mix Creator encode and deliver your music in 360 Reality Audio Music Format, a format optimized for music distribution and compliant with MPEG-H 3D Audio Open Audio Standard. 360 Work Mix Creator has a built-in virtualizer ready for headphone monitoring with an option to import your own HRTF profile. So now let's take a look at the setup. After the installation of the 360 WorkMix Creator software, open a 48 kHz New Window 11 or Cubase 11 project. Enter Studio, VST Plugin Manager, VST Effects tab. Make sure the 360 WorkMix Creator VST3 plugin is listed and activated. Enter Studio, Audio Connections, Output tab. You can create different output buses based on your listening room speaker configuration, like stereo, 13.0, or 7.1.4, for example. For this project, I chose 7.1.4 speaker configuration and selected output 1 through 12 on the Yamaha AIC-128D PCI Express Dante card. The control room should be disabled. Next, select all the audio tracks in a project and use Q-Link to insert the 360 WorkMix Creator plugin as a last insert plugin in a chain on all the selected audio tracks. In this example, inserted pre-fader. The 360 WorkMix Creator plugin window will then automatically open. Do not click on Yes It Is. These audio tracks are not the main output channel bus. Close the plugin. Note that the pre and post fader insert slots are divided by an adjustable horizontal green line. The plugin color will be orange if inserted post fader and blue inserted pre fader. Next, insert the 360 WorkMix Creator plugin on the main output bus, in this example, the 7.1.4 output bus, as a last plugin in a chain. Click on Yes It Is and close the plugin. Now open the 360 WorkMix Creator plugin on any of the audio tracks in the project. Notice that each track have been identified, only a few mono and stereo tracks in this example, volume set to 0 dB, and each track assigned with a specific color. To change the color automatically assigned by the plugin, click on the color editing icon under Properties. For consistency, I recommend to use the same a similar color scheme on both Project Window and 360 WorkMix Creator plugin. Next, click on the setting icon of the WorkMix Creator plugin and under Devices, select your audio outputs. In this example, I'm using Core Audio and the Yamaha AIC 128D card. Under Speakers, select the speaker configuration that matches your listening room, in this example 7.0.4, and you can manually adjust the position of each speaker using spherical coordinates and save a custom profile or place the listening room.arb file often used by architect in the following Mac or Windows directory. The 360 WorkMix Creator plugin has a panel tab with view preferences, including a single viewport, an option to show or hide the object names and speaker outputs. The panel tab also offers an object settings section, which include mute, solo, and volume functions, as well as the option to show or hide the meter of each audio object.
The Renderer tab offers the same View Preferences options than the Panner tab and an Output Channel section with Speaker Mute, Solo and Metering. You can switch between Speaker Monitoring and Headphone Monitoring by clicking on the Headphone Monitoring icon of the WalkMix Creator plugin. To import a custom HRTF and related transfer function file, click on the setting icon, headphone tab of the 360 WalkMix Creator plugin. Finally, to turn the 360 WalkMix Creator plugin on or off, click on the power icon. Now, in this example, I only have a few mono tracks for the kick drum. snare and bass and one stereo guitar I can freely move any of the sound object anywhere within the spherical sound field using the mouse and independently adjust the volume of each sound object for stereo object like the guitar in this example I can link or unlink the left and right sound object by clicking on the group icon. You can then independently adjust the volume and position of the left and right sound object. The master output of the 360 WalkMix Creator plugin is located on the right side of the power icon. The 360 WalkMix Creator plugin also offer a compact and focus mode for the panner and renderer section. Now the WalkMix Creator plugin easily integrates with the Yamaha Nuage controllers. On the Nuage Feather unit, push the insert button on the section control and the green edit button of the sound object you'd like to control. Push the blue edit button to close the plugin. You can then control the different parameters of the selected sound object, such as Gain, Solo, Mute, as well as the position of the sound object within the spherical sound field. Push down the encoder to switch from Normal to Precise Control Mode. Use the flip function of the new Ash fader unit to adjust multiple parameters at the same time. When using the flip mode function, press and hold the shift modifier button on the fader unit to switch to precise control mode. You can access and control a second sound object using the touchscreen and encoders on the new Ash master unit and engage read and write automation at any time. The 360 WalkMix Creator plugin offers a whole new way to mix small or large project using Cubase 11 or New Window 11. Thanks for watching.